That's right, Captains. It is time for the U.S. Navy's Tier 6 cruiser, Dallas. Now, while she's named after that classic 80s television show, in-game, she's more like the 2012 remake. In other words, meh. I mean, she's like all U.S. 152mm cruisers. She loves to stir fires and battleships. But Captains, do not, do not, I repeat, do not neglect the armor-piercing power, even of this little Dallas. Because when your enemy exposes their flanks, like in true Texas tradition, this cowboy will cut up the prime sit steaks for dinner. Nom 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 Atlanta! And even at range, she can collect citadels in bunches. But as this ship is made for the frontline action, she really excels at collecting them citadels at them close ranges. Well, one cool feature about this ship is that she comes equipped with both the I see a little scumbag slash angry triangles of fury module that allows you to pop these little buggers out of the game and onto the next match and a fly swatter module at the same time which yes captains makes you the mullet of the tier six cruises business in the front and party in the back but be warned, Captains, not everybody can pull off rocking a mullet. <laughs> Hi, Dallas. Goodbye, Dallas. And yes, Captains, that even includes dear old Fetch. Kaboom! Yes, Captains, like I said at the beginning, for me, this ship was, was definitely a meh boat. There are a whole lot of Tier 6 cruisers premium and non-premium alike that were much more enjoyable for me to captain. I'm still going to keep her and put her through some more sea trials because I believe there might be a Captain Skillet 2 that could change the nature of this ship. But I do love rocking both the fly swatter and anti-scumbag modules at the same time. I've been waiting for that for a long time and you're finally starting to get this in the Dallas. So I picked out a replay that pretty much sums up eh, everything about this boat that I've experienced thus far. So sit back with some popcorn and enjoy. All right, and that match sees us top tier in the tier six matchup. Division with my buddy Minnow and Austin on the map, Trident and dual overhead Sky Cancers to boot. All right, roll into my Captain Skills modules and upgrades. You can see I run preventive maintenance to keep my stuff working. Adrenaline rush to help myself shoot a little bit quicker as I get punched in the face. Demolition expert for more fires and concealment expert to make myself a little bit more of a ninja. Superintendent is most likely gonna be the next one I go for maybe because I do wanna get another pack of uh, fly swatters and anti-scumbaggery modules, but I think IFHE is gonna be the ultimate one I go for next. I think IFHE will help this ship a lot. It helped the Cleveland at tier six to produce a little bit more damage and I think the Dallas is going to be able to use that skill quite nicely. Now going into my modules and flags you can see she's fully kitted out. I have the AA mod to help with flash waters and this engine boost one to get up to full speed a little bit sooner. Premium consumables as always and for my flags pretty standard for XP but I do run the flag to reduce the reload time for my modules which I do love having captains. I love having the dual hydro and defensive fire at the same time. I've been waiting for this for a long time and fetchy likey. So as you can see, we had that northwestern spawn and we're just rolling down to this big island here in the trident side. I don't like going to the trident side, but I'm going to keep my guns oriented over there because I do got to be mindful of the three scumbags and the two sky cancers that could be preying on my poor little Arizona and New Mexico. So I want to kind of stay close to them, but I also need to make sure I can do some area denial and or bopping some DDs out of the game. And so we already have eyes on one DD on the mini map. I think that might have been the Fushin. Yeah, there it is, a Fushin. And he looks like he could be steaming towards us. A lot of little, a lot of little flies and bees buzzing around down there. You can see them all <laughs> on the sky and on the mini map. Oh my goodness! So the only guy we can shoot at right now is this Breton, and so we definitely unloaded on him and immediately got detected. So for sure, there's a scumbag out over there somewhere. And oh, okay, we got one dink. Our AA is finally getting active, going against some of the fighters. The more fighters we can shoot down, the better for our sky cancer on our own side. Can fight cancer with cancer, but I don't want to pop my defensive fire. I want to wait for the bombers, the tornadoes. 
transport bombers and the regular bombers to come by it. Now I'm hoping that this Fushin comes in. I popped my Hydra because I thought, oh, maybe that Fushin's coming in and I got that other scumbag that's out there that's going to be probably launching torps maybe my way. So pop that Hydro on a defensive measure and somewhat offensive because if this Fushin actually pops his corner, we can start bopping him in the face. But it doesn't look like he's there. And I'm, I'm trying to keep a mind's eye on who could be shooting at me from down over here. And also maybe shoot some of these planes as they come in. Because they're buzzing around and our little money head. Be careful there, buddy. Because there's a lot of lot, lot of sneaky guys running around right here. Still a hard copy to detect. So DD's over here somewhere. God, there's so many planes coming in. Oh, man. I don't know if they're going to be coming for me or for our money hand. So let's see. I'm definitely holding down the, the control key button and then start clicking on these guys to prioritize them as I hit my defensive fire and start shooting down some of these little little flies that are buzzing around. Looks like he might tr try to be going for a Monahan, but I have some dive bombers that might be coming for me or, or for Minnow. I'm not sure, but we're clicking around and we're shooting the crap out of them. Come on, where are you at? Where are you at? I want some more of you because you're right over me. Oh, come on, come on. We can take down those guys. Those are only tier five planes. We should be able to wax those guys pretty easy. And it looks like we did a good job of disrupting their shooting solutions and their drop solutions on our Monahan. Although I think our Monahan took a lot of love from that Fushin maybe. But we've swatted down, what is that? 14 planes! 14 planes there, Captains. I know, I mean, that, that's that's pretty nice. That's not like outstanding, but that's pretty damn good, Captains, for, for this little Dallas. That she ain't the Cleveland. But hot damn, 14 planes like that. All right, free Taka, Bayern, New Mexico. We still got the DD that's way out there. And we got a battleship that's looking to go get dev struck on that western side as well, too. So uh, I might have to keep a mind's eye open for them and try to maybe engage some of these guys over here. But it looks like their team is doing kind of, I don't well, I don't even know what our, our team is doing, but it looks like their team is heading student body east side. And yeah, there's some torps on our Bayern. There's Minnow. Okay, okay. You know what? I might have to go try to save this Byron because what we cannot allow to happen is let that DD get into our backfield and run right with us because we, we kind of have an idea where he is. So I'm going to, I, I think I got to go out there. I got to go out there and try to be the anti DD boat that these cruisers are. I mean, the, the Phoenix and the Omaha are most certainly that at tier fours and fives and the Cleveland is somewhat that in some instances. And so this Dallas, by having both the defensive fire and the hydro, is is I, I feel is a better continuation from that anti DD hunting CV uh, uh, cruiserness. So anyway, we're gonna try to go make it work. I gotta be mindful of these guys over here. That Fushin was still hanging around over here, and of course there's some battleships. Oh, that the, the Fushin just popped up on the mini map, and there's some more sky cancer that's coming in. So I'm gonna launch Todd and his fighter, and let's see if we can keep an eye on this Fushin and maybe swat down some of these planes to boot. And here's this Fushin. He's come steaming in. He's He's like, mm, I got a taste of the little Dallas. I want to bop one, but we're going to say no and hopefully bop this little sucker out of the game. He's doing a little bit of a crazy Ivan and over here. I don't know what. My AA is going to town. Oh, that's an all right little hit 2100. He's staying skinny. I'm waiting for a little bit of a broadside so we can maximize the damage output onto this little scout bag. And whoa, whoa, oh, 2900. We knocked out his engine though. We're still shooting down planes. Secondaries are getting in on the action. How about them apples, huh? Should I go full secondary build on Dallas? <laughs> crazy. Oh, speaking of crazy. 40 300 points of damage on the Fushin. Come on, Uno Moss Strike, and we should take him down. Yep, my Hydro, pot the Hydro, and we see his little deep wall to torpedoes, and we see him sink into the deep. Oh, 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 hello, hello, Mr. Bug. Hello, mine, mine, mine. Yes, please. Sky Cancer Flat Top. Oh, oh, oh. HE Citadel, 7200 points of damage. Oh, Mr. Bug, you are so slow. You are not getting out of here, man. You are definitely not escaping this fury. Three HE Citadels of Fury and a Fuego. Holy hot. Oh, shit. And never mind. Damn. Arizona. Minnow coming in. Dunking on that bow. Damn you, Minnow. That was mine. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. So we still know that there is a little DD scumbag over here somewhere. I'm trying to protect my Bayern through this. Uh, keeping an eye on that Breton and that QE. Our, our Mayhan, he's probably getting perma spotted by those, those planes right there. But yeah, look at that. Look at those triangles of fury coming in our poor Bayern. We got to keep sailing in this direction. It looks like maybe from that angle of the torps and uh, onto that Byron that he's got to be due south. Yeah, yeah, on that corner right there. I feel you there, Mr. Stevenson. He's probably over there somewhere. But this is going to get a little hairy. My hydra's is going to be running out here pretty soon. And I got about another 45 seconds before Ty can go up in his fighter again. So we're still trying to engage these battleships at our maximum range of 14.3. It's not the greatest range, Captain. It's 14.3 for a tier 6 boat. I mean, that's, that's okay, but... 
Uh, it's a little rough, man. It's a little rough, especially if you start getting out in this open water because you are you are actually a good continuation from the Phoenix and Omaha in the other way in that <laughs> you can get Citadel by everybody and their mother. So I guess that's not a good, but... <laughs> All right, now, was the question was, do I go the east side or the west side of this island? I'm slowly approaching south, and we're still engaged in this QE, missing, <laughs> but we're making him think. I'm still detected as I go behind this island, so where is that DD? Is it over here? Yeah, he's still over there somewhere, so we got to be careful as we swing around this island. Well, we're okay, we're hitting him all right, knocking out some AE, uh, knocking out some AA, but no fires, though. Come on, we need some more fires. All right, Todd is ready to go, refueled got his little power bar and his pet pill so he's up in the sky again so i feel good about that so hopefully we can maybe see some of these torpedoes because i gotta believe that the dd is going to be launching them at me now and at the rate of fire and i think there's only one dd left and given his silhouette it might be the might be the kamikaze oh there's finally a fire thank goodness man my aim was terrible on that qe oh whoa whoa there it is get skinny stop go crazy crazy i haven't move no don't move <laughs> <laughs> His wife says they sail right on by. Todd, you got to get on that shit, buddy. I need to see those things. <sighs> all right, all right. So we know that little DD's down here somewhere. And I think if we just head due south, our Hydra will be coming up here pretty soon. Might be able to time that uh, at the same time that that little DD is going to get his Torps reload. So we're just going to head due south and try to cut him off. We got Todd up in the sky for another five minutes. And our Hydra's coming up. So, yeah, we got to corner this little sucker and take him down. I, I know it's kind of taking us away from the fight. I mean, we still are able to engage these battleships just a little bit. Oh, the QE looks like he's be, he's ready for some fuegos again. But we got to make sure this little DD's going down. Unfortunately, it's not looking so good, Captains. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this one out for a victory now. Oh, there we come torpedoes as I let another fire. Turn hard, starboard. Get in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Torpedo beats intensifies. Holy guacamole. Oh, my God. Hey, they landed another fire. Was that two fires that I got in the QE? Nice. All right. Well, here goes the Hydro. And, you know, I probably could have held it for just about another 10 seconds because I know the torp reload on that Minikaze or whatever it is. The Kamikaze R, there he is. Kamikaze R. Oh, he's lighting smoke. Excellent. So that means we are going to steam right for him. He's not going to escape us. No way in hell is he going to escape us, especially with our, our Hydro going right now. We should be able to see him sooner rather than later and definitely see his torpedoes. There you are, you little sucker i love that boat so fierce but you're dead you're dead 2600 points of damage oh, oh oh sky cancer is coming inbound looks like he's coming for me as well holy guacamole we got some torp planes torp boat in front of us 3600 points of damage lots of modules knocked out and sky cancer inbound i hit my defensive aa to try to start swatting these guys clicking them as i click him out of the game i see his torpedoes coming in i see the sky cancer torpedo coming in oh my gosh oh my gosh turn hard Our, oh we got a good skinny got to get skinny and start slowing down a little bit slow down split speed up speed up oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness i don't even know how many plays this oh my gosh i can't believe that just happened Sometimes I'd rather be lucky than good. I had a little bit of good, but I think that was some luck. But oh my goodness gracious, Captain. All right, all right. Well, Scumbag is dead. Uh, it's not looking so good because the only Sky Cancer that we have left is the one that's been AFK the entire time. So, I mean, <sighs> Mom, I'm glad. I hope, I hope you're proud of a little boy taking out his garbage. But you took him out of our game. Damn it. We needed our Sky Cancer. Oh, so, well, QE is left in the cap. Minnow got taken down. So it's just Austin and myself and our battleship. And that's it man oh my goodness not looking so hot so we're just gonna engage this qe if we can help put him down we can maybe start heading back up to cap but there's still one more sky cancer that's left and i think he's somewhere around that little island on the south side of the cat that's where a lot of carriers like to hang i can see his last known pause on the mini map but a lot of times they like to hang really close there and boom boom down goes frasia mr stevenson got him yet again I'd like to shoot down these planes so I can go undetected because I'm not sure where I'm not sure what other plane it's got to be the uh, Zuiho or whatever it is the Japanese flat top so and she's kind of fast I think but oh it's not looking so good we need what we need to do is try to stop their cap or start capping them and maybe try to do a little change out. Austin can maybe start going north and just do like a changing of the guard. And I'm going to try to swing around this island because I'm okay speed. Like she, she's got an all right speed. You could use a speed flag on her and actually probably do okay. I think her, her base speed is like 32 and a half. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Looking at you, Julio. But <laughs> anyway, anyway. So we're going to go south of this island and might be able to catch her up because if I can spot her at least, then maybe Austin and the QE. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, there are the planes. Oh, it looks like the planes were just coming from the south. Yeah, it looks like he might just be just due south of this island here. So, yeah, definitely engaged. I wanted to try it also maybe to, to lend my AA bubble to try, try to take those guys down and, and save Austin a little bit of, of angst. But I think I'd rather go try to kill this CV now and even up the Sky Cancer odds. Then we can worry about trying to engage targets in there because that's what Austin's trying to do besides skirt between these torpedoes is also engage in our own cap zone for the little changeover maneuver. But I don't know, it's a little hairy. Oh, tally ho, flat time it is the sweet ho. Look at you there, pretty thing. Let's see if we can burn you to pieces. How about a little Texas barbecue? Yes, please. Oh, six pen, but no fuegos. I'm just shooting as uh, last known pause, just taking a wild ass guess. And uh, I should be seeing him sooner or later. He's got all right detection, but we're, I mean, we're steaming hot and heavy right towards him. I think he was reversing or just sitting there. So we are going to see him. There he appears on the mini map. Obisto, there you are. There you are. Yeah, he's on the move now, but he is in our truly in our clutches. Austin might be able to get some shots on him if we can. Yep. The old HE Citadel through the face. Boy, the Rando puts a damage. Come on, come on. We got to take this little sucker out first. Come on, come on, Smurfs. Handy Smurfs. Smurfs, <laughs> HE Citadel, and a Fuego, two boot. Only one or two more salvos should be good. We needed to start focusing on the torpedo planes as well. Oh, come on, come on, where are the Citadels? We need to take this little sucker down. Because this is not looking good. It's not looking good. At least we can maybe farm some more damage. And there we go, double HE Citadel kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. Love that. Whoa, whoa. Well, unfortunately though, they're their bad boys ran due north in our cap zone and we weren't able to pull out the bait and switch maneuver and unfortunately captains this means it's gonna go down for a loss boo 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 but it was a good fight as we finished the game with just under 91,000 points of damage, 29 planes swatted down, eight citadels, a bunch of those were HE on the carrier, but the HE Citadel Fuego combos of Fury, oh, so that is pretty nasty, for three kills. And we do finish, yes, tops of the charts with 1,200, almost 1,300 base experience points in the tier six matchup. Yeah, one of our little carriers was taking out the garbage the entire map. So what are you gonna do? Boo, boo, boo. But not too shabby. Good job, men, and good job, Austin. And in the detail report, yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. We did a lot of farming. We actually got to farm uh, quite a bit of carrier damage, which was always nice. But we bopped down that Fushin, chased down that Kamikaze, beat him up, took his lunch money, send him off to his next game. But unfortunately, that wasn't enough for the victory. And of course, after Texas with the premium account and a tier six matchup, just over a quarter million credits. So that's all right. That's all right. With just a standard account, though, just 138K or so. So that's okay. All right, Captains. Well, that was my review of the U.S. Navy's Tier 6 Cruiser Dallas. Now, unfortunately for the majority of Captains out there who had spent a lot of time with the Tier 6, the formerly Tier 6 Cruiser Cleveland, uh, this boat does not really compare in my book. Yeah, she's got all right AA suite that can do some, some, some damage, but she's got two less guns than the old Cleveland, and she is a lot more fragile than that Cleveland. Uh, even the newer Cleveland, yeah, I know the old school Cleveland had no Citadel, but <laughs> even the new Cleveland, which took a lot of butt sits, uh, took a lot more hits uh, than this Dallas does. At least that's how it feels. So while I will keep her in the fleet just so we can work our way up to the IFHE and put her through some sea trials for hopefully a round to adventure in the near future, don't hold me to it now. If it weren't for that, I would definitely scrap her for parts because there are a lot more tier six tech tree and premium ships out there that I enjoy playing a lot more than the Dallas. But that doesn't mean that this ship can't be the right ship for you. So hopefully by way of this video, I have shown you how to, and of course as always, how not to captain the Dallas. But in any case, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. So until next time, Captains, I thank you all for watching. And I'll see you either in-game or in-stream. So have fun and fair seas.